walk around the compound. Good morning, all you big cat lovers. And I'm supposed to say a lot of other things that I don't remember that Derek told me to say. But I am Heidi. And I am going to attempt to do my very first podcast. And the first walk around the compound for me. And I want to show you some of the babies that make me so happy. Um, this right here is my Boom. He's just waking up. It's early morning. Come here, Boom Boom. <laughs> Good morning, handsome. Are you showing off, little one? Come here. Come here, beautiful. Oh, there's my big boy, Slade, too. Good morning, guys. I love you doing this morning. Hi, angels. Hi, angels. So Slade and Boomer are completely wonderful, fantastic babies, along with a lot of the other cats here I've taken care of since they were teeny weeny, and they kind of know me as mom. So I'm going to go and see who else is awake this morning, like JP. Let's go outside, P. JP is... Um, one of my old spirit cats. He's got a very sweet gentleness about him and an old wisdom in his eyes that was there from the day he was born. He is also the biggest and bestest kisser in the whole world. How about a kiss? I kiss you. I love you, bud. Don't know if that was even in the shot, but that is my JP. How are you this morning, Angel? Did you get a good sleep? And there's my Lou. Oh, sorry, Jacob. And Jakey and Lou sleeping. I don't um, know really how, I'm sorry, I know. I don't wanna leave you either. Um, I don't know um, really what I'm supposed to be doing today. Not good at this stuff. I'm more of a behind the scenes person. Uh, cleaning office work, taking care of children, three amazing, intelligent children, making sure interns don't leave water on like this all night that flooded this area. So I'm gonna go turn this off. This is my job right here, turning water off. I'm gonna take a peek at Ace, who's not been feeling the best you still sleeping, Angel? Hi, beautiful. How you doing, baby? He's still sleeping this morning. Hi, honey. You're not coming out, are you? I'll see you in a little while. And Raven. Good morning, Ray. Everybody's so sleepyhead this morning. Everybody's so sleepyhead. So, I started taking care of cats about 25 years ago. Um, I say um a lot, I realized when I started doing this. Um, so if you can count how many times I say um, I think you can get a prize. I started doing this 25 years ago, so that could tell you right now that I'm old and tired. And Polly is, I know, good morning, Angel. <laughs> good morning, Pumpkin. I feel like such an idiot talking on this camera. So maybe uh, <laughs> it's just not me. And I'm probably going to get yelled at because I probably have my fingers over the microphone also but uh, I 
started doing this many, many years ago because, of course, I thought that they were like the coolest animals on earth, which they are. Um, I met a person when I was in graduate school in Ohio and he helped me get into this mess. It wasn't always easy. Life was pretty difficult in the beginning. Not a lot of money, not a lot of anything. Not trying to say that there's a lot of money now, but it sure has helped since I married my wonderful husband, Derek, and he started doing these vines. I um, want to get over to Solano a little bit. He, I understand it's a lot of your favorite. And boy, I feel like I'm fumbling, honey. So I hope that you edit this very well because this is not who I am. So I've told you about partial 10,000 stories now in just a matter of six minutes into this video. I know, I came to see Solano, Polly. I know you followed me all the way over here. Hey, Lano. <laughs> morning. Good morning, handsome. Oh, did you just wake up? Oh, my baby. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. <laughs> What's up, bud? What's so nice? Oh, Beautiful, beautiful baby. Oh, come back asleep. All right, Papa, one more time. Oh, Papa. Pa, I'm right here. Come here, babe. Come here, sweetie. <laughs> That's a Papa. That's a Papa. Hi, <laughs> Ainge. <laughs> Kiss. Kiss. Good kisses. Good kisses, baby. Um, so I started telling you about how I started in graduate school. Um, I, it's so hard not talking to people on this thing. I don't know how Derek really does it because I feel like I'm, um, uh, talking to air, which I am talking to a phone. And it's and see I could do this and then I feel even more weird because I'm a very self-conscious person uh, and that's why I'm always griping about Derek putting me on any of the um, videos or the vines been through a lot in my life uh, and the only thing that really kept me going a lot of the time were these wonderful babies like Miss Lulu hey Luchalu hi Hey, baby girl. Good morning, Lou. Oh, JP is coming in. Ah, you followed me all the way over here. Get this. But I was talking to Lou. Come on, Lou. <laughs> oh, come on, peas. Uh-oh, and then here comes Jacob, and they're all going to want to say good morning. Come on, Jacob. Look at that beautiful baby in that sunrise. I can't see him in this. Oh, doop, 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 doop. Now we're going to have mommy fights. <laughs> Hi, Leo. <laughs> okay, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, come here. Come here. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, Jacob. Good morning. Good morning, Angel. Good morning. Uh oh <laughs> Good morning, Lulu. I love you, baby. Mm. So that's what kept me through, got me through all the hard times in my life. All the love and kisses from these wonderful guys. Not all of them have been love and kisses for sure. A lot of them have been, um, don't pee on me. See, a lot of them have been pee on me. Um, but, uh, the reward of loving the animals and 
getting uh, them well when they've been sick. Um, taking a tiger that was abused and and treated horribly and being able to approach them for the first time without them trying to kill you, gaining their trust. It's a pretty amazing thing. Oh, got Chompy. There's Chompy. <laughs> you coming, Chomps? Chomp, chomp. Come on, handsome. You don't want to say good morning? One of the most important things every morning at CARE is to make sure that all the animals get up and walk and give kisses. That way we know they're okay. Good morning, Chompy Bear. What a handsome guy you are. What a handsome guy you are. I remember when Chompers was a baby. Now he's 15, six, no, he's 16. And uh, he loved my daughter, Destiny. And slept in her bed when he was itty bitty. And now he's big and getting old. One of the harder parts, I'm sure, for most of your viewers, is, uh, you viewers, is to watch the animals go. Um, very hard for me too, almost like, almost like losing a child. And it's been a really bad year this year for loss, and it's not going to get any better. Um, but if you hold on just a little bit, I have a surprise for you. That may take you some of the pain. Good morning, Kate. Kate's one of our more aloof girls. Hey baby, come here Katie Kate. <laughs> Kate says good morning everyone. <laughs> good morning beautiful. <laughs> Do you know this is the hundredth walk around the compound? Woo! Yeah, and, and mommy's on it. What do you think of that? <laughs> She says, that's weird, Mom. <gasps> Hi, Rassy. What a beautiful guy he is. <laughs> Good morning, Rascal. <laughs> Rascal's doing much better since his move to this new enclosure. Kind of likes his cave and stuff. That's what I do a lot of here is make sure that the cats have their caves and their the things that they need to make them happy. Um... A lot of that is through sitting in my office a lot, which I hate because I'd much rather be out here doing what I'm doing right now. I don't get a lot of time to do what I'm doing right now. So one of the things that I get letters about is um, it must be so cool to be you type thing and how did you get where you did? And the way I got where I am is not by being horribly dedicated to the animal career. I was actually a child therapist, educated as a child therapist before I fell in love with these guys. So education wise, when people say, what do I need to take in college? Um, that's not how I got to be where I did. I wish I would have taken more college. Hi, beautiful. <laughs> Good morning, Serena. Good morning, Serena. Oh, I love you so much. What are you doing? Hi, honey. Hi, baby girl. <laughs> She's the best snuffler in the whole world. Love her snuffles. Um, where was I? See, that's a problem. I don't, I have a bad memory because I'm too tired most of the time. But, oh. I hate this, honey. I don't know why you're making me do this. Uh, so I, I know I was telling you about it. I was going to school and then I did this. Oh, so education doesn't, for me, didn't have a lot to do with this. It, it came from meeting my ex-husband and, and meeting other people. And then all of a sudden, and making a lot of mistakes. Gosh, I made a lot of mistakes. So 
uh, don't think that life has ever been easy for me. After my divorce, I had to take care of all these cats and the kids pretty much by myself for a very long time. And raising three kids by myself was rough. Didn't have a whole lot of money. Hi, Bug. What are you doing? Come here. See, this is, I don't know how Derek does this because I see them and then I have to give kisses. Come on, Buggy. <laughs> Firebug, she lived in the house for a really long time with me till she was about a year old because she was a kind of a sick girl. <laughs> but the sweetest baby. Oh, kisses. <laughs> kisses, kisses. I'm sorry, I have to stop and give kisses. Um, and see, then I see Rasa, and I can't, I just, I, I can't think. So I should have done what I told Derek that I was going to do is sit down and tell you about me. <laughs> When I'm not moving around so much. I love you, Rasa. Good morning. So, uh, taking care of all these animals myself, going on food stamps, and trying to make my way through was not an easy task. Good morning, Sydney. And um, I think this is almost a harder task than going through all this. That, oh, look at that baby right there. Who is that handsome man? Noelle loves mommy, so I'm only gonna get a quick second. Ah, yeah. Noe, don't do that to Molly. Oh, come on, guys. You have to share sometimes. Mommy loves Molly, too. Get over here. Get over here, sugar. Get up, come here. Give me sugar, give me sugar. Give me sugars. Oh, you're so silly. Silly, silly baby. Silly, silly baby. Um, so I think I am going to try to stop a minute and just stand and talk. Um, so that way I'm not seeing more cats and getting confused at what my subject is. Um, not knowing that if you're seeing my forehead or my chin or my ear or anything. I, um, I went through a lot through a lot of years and I know a lot of you people on Vine, you wonderful, uh, animal lovers go through a lot of hard times I get a lot of emails about how tough life has been for you and life is not easy for anyone um, and life was not easy for me um, you look at around and you see oh wow look at that Heidi has so much she's got all these cats around her what amazing life you know it, it's not glory and wonderful things most of the time I don't want to be on camera because I don't wear makeup and stuff like this all the time I am um, I'm usually oh I just realized I think he's gonna kill me because I think I turned the phone upside down <laughs> I don't know how you're gonna fix that edit baby I think I have my phone upside. oh great anyway um I don't have makeup on all the time I'm usually got poop and pee on me and sometimes butchering. I try not to butcher very much anymore since I have my very young, wonderful husband, Derek, that can do a lot of those things when he gets home from work. Um, but spent a lot of years doing that stuff. Started a lot, spent a lot of years struggling, trying to make ends meet. And it wasn't until Derek started doing this what I'm doing right now uh, that because of all of you people out there that so generously give every single time we have an emergency which unfortunately we have a lot when you have this many animals you're gonna have a lot um, I want to thank you for making my life easier I want to thank you for making the animals' lives easier. And I want to thank my wonderful husband for bringing this world to the care world. I get really mad at him a lot because he doesn't have a lot of time for the family because he's so busy with the camera in his face. And so I get very agitated and very angry and very jealous and very many other things because I want a husband and I know that it's very very hard for um, him to balance work taking care of the cats coming out here and doing vine 
and then or Vine or podcasts or you I don't even know all the stuff that he does um, but then he does all that stuff and you know it's it's hard and I, I appreciate what he's done because I know what it was like for all those years before this so I guess in a roundabout way is um, for all of you people struggling out there and all of um, the sadness, depression, and I know a lot of people come to see all these cats because life does get difficult. There's wonderful things out there. Um, life changes and it does get better. And my life is pretty awesome right now. And pretty awesome for our little girl right there, Rasa, who says, I'm going back to sleep, Mommy. It's too early in the morning. Go away and come back when I'm awake. So for now, I am going to stop recording and hope that my husband edits this video very well so I don't sound like a bumbling idiot. I know I'm trying to get to you, Molly. No, Noe. Mm -hmm. Jealous, jealous, jealous. And I am going to go give you a little surprise. I'm going to turn this thing off now if I can. I don't know if I'm doing this right again, but we're going to try it. Uh, I promised you a little surprise, and I have it. As you know, uh, uh, see the uh? As you know, we've lost a lot of cats. And it's very sad for all of us when we have one pass. And there's always nice when we have a little surprise. So guess what? We have a surprise. But I'm gonna drag it out a little bit and tell you a little background first. As you know, we've had a lot of flood lately. Lots and lots of water. And unfortunately, a lot of wildlife gets displaced during big storms and flooding. And we received a phone call last week that there was a little precious thing that got displaced in the flooding. And I've never taken care of one of these little ones in years and thought that it was gonna be a wild animal. But when we received it, it is the most sweet, gentle thing in the world. Um, thought that we can maybe rehab and release because that's what you would normally do with a wild animal. Hold on. Okay. Um, normally we would rehab and release any wild animal, but this one is not releasable because it is very, very much attached to people and was from the second it arrived. So I want the river, its name is Trinity that overflowed and flooded most of Dallas, Fort Worth, and our area. And so her name is Mia de la Trinity. And say hello to our newest care resident, Mia. Hey, Mimi. Look at the little angel bobcat, Mia de la Trinity. Okay, I'm gonna let her down. This is her first time outside in the grass from the house since she arrived, so I don't know where she's going to go really, really fast. Probably fit right through the chain link. Yep. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll hold her for a little bit. <laughs> Hi, baby. She says, put me down. This is no fun. Okay, I'm going to take her inside. Uh, the house so that way we can videotape her a little bit better in there. She uh, She's a little bit of an escape artist to be out here. <laughs> Trinity! Oh, Mia. Mia! We call her Trinity at first, but the little boy that found her 
wanted to call her Trinity. I mean Mia. See, I keep getting it mixed up. So we decided to call her Mia de la Trinity. Well, I am sure you're going to get to meet her a bunch more in future podcasts. She's kind of fast. <laughs> Puppy, as you can imagine, Puppy does not like her. He is past loving animals in this house. Good morning, Mia. Whoa! All right, Mia. I want you to sign off on the hundredth. Walk around the compound. Walk around the house. Rock around the house. I've got to go take care of other animals. I hope you all have a wonderful day and remember all these little guys that constantly keep me running. Y'all have a good one and I know I'm supposed to probably say something else because I'm sure he signs off in some special way so he can do his magic texting at the bottom or typing at the bottom that allows um, there's another um that allows you to feel that there is some conclusion to this very awkward video. Oh, Richard Parker. Oh, Richard Parker is going to be nice. Richard. Uh, no, don't hurt the baby. Richard usually doesn't like the baby, but I think he wanted to be on the pod. Oh, Richard. Be nice. Good boy, Richard. Good boy, Richard. Wow, that was amazing. Talk to you soon.